I ain't gonna have time to ride my motorcycle. I ain't got time to go to Walmart and spend the money that God's blessed me with. I'll tell you what, I'll get fired if I miss work. So I'll just start whittling off of church time. God doesn't can't understand why they ain't got peace and why they ain't got joy. You know what I'm talking about. Bless the Lord. Why some of you don't come to church? Mm -hmm. That's right. You're tired of getting your feet stepped on, your toes stomped. Praise the Lord. Yeah, right. If you ever get back to where you was, you'll get back to because of Jesus Christ right. and you'll put him first in your life. Amen. Right. Amen. That's why I ain't got no TV show. They wouldn't keep me on there 30 minutes. <laughs> Shame on me. Want to go to a church, you know, where where it's real soft and where it's real easy, Gary, where they get entertained. Yeah, go when they want to. Go to a big church where if, hey, if they miss, nobody misses them. I don't know what they do when they get up on their myth tree and start whining around because the preacher ain't calling. Remember back, Gary, back there in the book of Esther, how the Bible said that Mordecai you remember King Ahasuerus was, uh, he was king and said that there was two men sitting at the gate. Y'all pray for me that the Lord would bring this to my memory. But said there was two men sitting at the gate. There was a conflict going on in the kingdom there. And there was a man by the name of Haman that was trying to destroy the Jews. And y'all help me out here. Help me, Gary, if I don't get this right. And said that there was two men sitting by the gate, and said that they they was plotting a plan to to uh, to destroy the king, right? right, right. King of uh, uh, Hazarus. Mm -hmm. And said anyway, Mordecai was there, and said that he uh, he overheard these men plotting their scheme, right. and so he sent word to his was it his uh, niece niece right. Esther was Mordecai's niece. He had raised her because she. Uh, her her parents had died or or for whatever, but uh, Esther was being uh, made queen there, and she was chosen over uh, many other women, and, and God had showed her favor. But anyway, she, uh, Mordecai got word to the king that they was they was planning to bring harm to him and destroy him. And so anyway, Gary, word got to the king said there's some there's some men plotting to to destroy you and remove you from your throne and said so the king took care of the problems right. those men were destroyed that was plotting the scheme but anyway things went on as normal yes sir we, Gary we live in a time too you know we tell the kids to take out the garbage how much you gonna pay me yes sir or, or the grass needs cut how much you gonna pay me what's in it for me boy the, and the Bible Bobby quoted the scripture having food and raiment be there with content yes sir but anyway Gary it, it, it was in a time now and it seems like and I thank God for the workers in the church Gary that Mago Monson is probably one of my big downfalls that I don't think people. Betty has put a lot of time into the church this week. She took a lot of saw and wiped down every one of the pews. That would take a long time. And I thank God for Betty uh, 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 being faithful. And the church is always clean and looks good, Gary. My goodness gracious. Uh, what in the world if we had to depend on some of these folks uh, to clean the church? They can't even come to meeting, much less take time. Oh, Alter, amen. Or take time out of a busy schedule to come in and wipe down a few pews uh, for the church. Hey, just try to throw that in. That won't cost you nothing. But, Gary, we live in a time, uh, boys, if somebody does something, uh, you got to throw a party, put your name on the marquee, uh, and tell what a good job they've done. But, God, behold the glory. We don't want to give him praise. Amen. 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 Wow. Mordecai didn't get no praise, Gary. And he didn't get no glory. And he saved the king's neck. Time went on. There was a man by the name, boy, this will step on all of our toes. There was a man by the name of Haman that was no good. 
And Haman was getting all the glory. Now I know there ain't nobody in the church house tonight. Been in the valley and had a pouting party. And start looking around. Now God, I know I do you a better job than Gary Gillespie. Oh, Gary Gillespie don't do near as much as I do. Right. And you look at him. He just got a brand new house. Right. And, and, and the Lord's blessed him. This week I got new hardwood floors put down. And getting ready to move in that big brick house down there at Ruth. Lord, why in the world ain't you blessing me? You know what I'm talking about, church. I know we've all done it from time to time. But the Lord's done forsook me. Gary in Hebrews chapter 6, verse 10. Listen to me. He said, for God is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love, which ye have shown toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister during right. another place in his word yep. said we'd reap a new season right. if we find out. Amen. That's right. That's it. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate that. Lord, you ain't hearing my prayers. You ain't saving my folks. You ain't doing what you ought to do for me. You're giving Gary and Pam. I'm just using them tonight. I preached on our old dog one time and got in trouble. It's not an old, it's a precious little, <laughs> one of the finest dogs that you ever met. Oh, uh, huh? Cinnamon Gillespie. The smartest dog you ever see in the world. And get on our good side. I'm going down to that new house for dinner. Listen to me. Mordecai and Gary didn't get no party. Didn't get no praise. Got his name recorded. Oh, listen to me. Come on. Yeah, listen. There was a bookkeeper, Gary. Yes, sir. And he had his heat pin out. Yeah, he was. Yes, sir. Wasn't no party. Wasn't no celebration going on early. But the bookkeeper yeah. got his belly cap, Gary, and his turkey feather. And he wrote down yeah. on Tuesday afternoon. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Mordecai was paying attention. Yeah. He wasn't off gossiping. Right. He wasn't off having a pity party. Right. But he was, oh, listen to me, Gary. Oh. He was looking out for the yeah. king. That's Turn to right. what we need to do. We need to get off of our stool and do nothing. Oh. And look out for the king. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. It was recorded yeah. Tuesday afternoon about 10 o'clock. Uh, Mordecai listened to nobody. He, he was out there and he was looking out and he was uh, he, he he was preserving the kingdom. Yeah. He was looking out there. There was somebody listen going to destroy our king what? and tear his name down. Yeah. But Mordecai come and reported it. Listen to me. What no party thrown? Listen, there was no celebration. Mordecai's name Reggie wasn't on a marquee down front of the church. You think God's not mindful of you? Oh, come on. Book of remembrance. Yes, sir. Being recorded. God ain't saving my children. God ain't supplying my needs. He's keeping a record. And he's right there. Yeah. Yeah, he's going to get to you. Just ain't the right time yet. He's going to open up the windows of heaven, Rick. You talking about the revival, the river bank of dirt set. One of these days, God's going to pour conviction down on your lost family. Boys, you'll be shouting out to you, be blocked. And the boot county sheriff will say, Go down and get the nuts out of the road. Why there's rejoicing going on? Because it's recorded. If we're faithful to the Lord. That's right, buddy. 